Hello everyone, this is Steve from WPOnabudget.com and we all know the golden rule and if we don't we quickly learn it that you should never test anything on a live website. Usually pretty much always something goes wrong. So in this video we're going to create a WordPress website that runs on your computer. Now there are several different softwares out there that can accomplish this but to be honest they're a little bit technical and a whole lot complicated but I found this solution here it's called local by a company called flywheel it's not a new application it's been around for a while but it's usually been on the Mac side and they just recently have a Windows application that you can download and the best part about this is that it is free which is easy on the budget and if we scroll down here, according to their website, the standard version will always be free. So what we're going to do is we're going to download this software. We're going to install it. We're going to run it and set up a web WordPress website. All you need to do is get started is go to this Flywheel website, which I'll put a link in the description. You want to hit the download. Click on the Windows, because that's what we're going to be doing. I'm pretty sure the Mac will run about the same way. Fill in at least the first three here, because they're mandatory. And then click Get It Now. And the download will start. Now I've already done that. Save a little time. So I'm going to double click here. And this will start to download to uh, install the program it doesn't take too long about a minute or so but I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video until it's finished okay all done and it puts a little icon on your desktop so let's go ahead and run local now to set up your first website it's got to install some things for us one of them is the virtual box which is a pretty quick installation. Then the host machine takes a little bit longer to go through there. Sometimes you might think you're hung up, but you're not. Just kind of hang with it. And the local image goes pretty fast. The whole process takes, you know, maybe three to five minutes. Uh, there will be a few times, three I think, maybe four times, that Windows are going to ask you to approve the changes. All you have to do is hit let's go and it'll start. So I'm going to hit that and then pause the video until it ready to go okay and here we are installed and ready to go so let's jump right in you want to hit create a new site and type in the name of the what your website you want uh, I could click here on the advanced options but I don't mess with any of these uh, create site from blueprints a pretty neat feature uh, once you get your baseline WordPress set up with everything that you want installed you can save it out as a blueprint and then the next time you come in to do your next site you can create that site from the blueprint and it'll automatically put you at that baseline every time so we'll hit continue now you can hit choose the preferred environment which is set up right here uh, I use custom uh, I use the PHP version 7 my hosting company is Apache so I choose that server uh, my SQL version 5.5 or 6 and then continue and then your WordPress username and password just like you would do online Now, the advanced options here let you set up a multi-site if that's something that you want to do. And hit add site. 
Now here's the next feature that it does that's pretty neat. Your credentials you just entered, your username, your password, and your email, it can set as a default. And every time you create another website to go in and test, it'll use that username, password, and email. Uh, it's a small thing, but it's a step you don't have to do if you developing a lot of sites at the same time. So it's installing the a little extra that I need because I had the Apache and the uh, PHP 7. And this will only take a moment to knock this out. I'll pause it and wait for it. Okay, and now as you can see it's setting up the site. Uh, it's going out and getting the Apache server. It goes out and get the PHP version. Uh, it's going to go out and get WordPress. Download the latest version. And then have everything set up. So again I will pause it until this is done. And come back when it's finished. Okay here we are. Uh, it's all set up. Ready to go. Uh, the best part about it is your... WordPress is installed. <coughs> Excuse me. Your database is installed. Everything you need to run this is all installed. It's ready to go. Now I have found one glitch when doing this. This is how it comes up right here. Your website's running, and it's you should hit admin and go. I can't do that. <coughs> when I hit admin, it said it's not connected. So I always cut my website off, stop everything from running, and I know this is going to sound weird, but this works for me every single time. Now restart it. Click on View Site, and it'll come up with the. Uh, 2017 theme on it and then click admin and when you click admin it'll come up just like it's supposed to so put in your username and your password just like you had set it up and it comes up just like a regular WordPress site you can do everything in here that you can do if you were on your live hosting um, you can post, you can make pages, media, um, go and get themes, go and get plugins. And this is where you want to test everything. So I can add new. If it breaks here, it's no big deal. If you can't fix it, erase the site and start all over again. At least it's not live. You have visitors coming in and you've messed something up. And I'll go get my one of my favorite themes that I use on just about everything. Hit install just like you would if you were live. Everything works just the way. Might be a tad bit slower than what you used to, or a tad bit slower than it would be on your live hosting. It just depends on what kind of computer you have. I find that it's a little slower, but that's to be expected. We'll get this to install here and then uh, I'll activate it. And like I said, it works just like it would. We'll go to live site. Well, not live, it's live on your computer. And there it is. This is a great way to test, guys. It's a great way to check out plugins and not break your site while you have visitors coming to your site. It's like you've seen it's super easy to install it's super easy to set up it's basically pushing buttons through a wizard and other than the little get glitch at the end where you have to cut it off cut it back on go to the site then go to admin i've contacted flywheel about that and told them so i hope you enjoyed this i hope you've learned something uh, if you have please subscribe to my youtube channel i'll have more videos coming about all things WordPress. Thank you and hopefully I'll see you later.